to select the top face on this and that should do me for the moment okay i'm just going to press and hold control and place the cursor just i'm going to basically trace around the outline of the back of his head around to the front so so about the same distance from this profile i'm going to place the cursor and just right click okay and that'll start extruding this face along where i have the cursor again i'm just going to press and hold control and right click with the mouse and just extrude bit by bit i'm just going to roll the middle mouse button just to zoom out and roll it to zoom back in i'm just going to press and hold control and again just right click and extrude this cube around his head okay there are a few ways of doing here but i've done a couple of attempts at this and i just think this looks pretty good so i'm going to go with this one so again just press and hold control and right click and come around to about here somewhere it's going to press and hold the middle mouse button okay that wouldn't be a bad height okay i'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button and just rotate i'm going to press ctrl r and i want to put some loop cuts in here along the length so i'm just going to roll the mouse wheel yeah three i want three loop cuts so i'm just going to click left click twice to lock those in position i'm going to press and hold alt and left select this outside loop and i'm going to press and hold alt and press and hold shift and left select this one and i'm going to press s to scale and just drag these drag these out slightly okay to about there left click to lock that in position okay again i'm going to press three for side view i'm going to press control tab and left select face i'm going to left select this face here and press and hold shift and select all these faces here okay i'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate i'm just going to come over here to the front view and i'm just going to press e to extrude and just drag this out And when I'm happy, I'm just going to left click, lock that in position. Okay, what I can do now is press S to scale and just scale up that face slightly. Okay, left click, lock that in. I'm going to press Shift D to make a duplicate copy and just right click to knock that back to its location. Okay, what I can do now is press E to extrude and just drag this out and left click when i'm happy about its position and i'm going to press s and i'm just going to scale this down slightly okay and left click to lock that in position i'm just going to check i have the median cursor yeah that's okay now i just want to keep an eye on it as i'm coming around the back here so i'm just going to twist it to here okay going to press shift d again and right click and let that snap back to its location i'm going to press e to extrude and extrude this out and when i'm happy left click to lock that in i'm just going to press s to scale this down okay left click to lock that in i'm just going to come over here and press 3 for side view okay that's not looking too bad for the moment okay i'm going to press shift d again and right click I'm going to press E to extrude and just drag this out and left click when I'm happy to lock that in position. Okay, I'm going to press S again as to scale this down and start following. Just going to come over here and drag this down maybe a little bit. 
I'm just going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to see how that's coming around. Okay, I might want to just press 3, press S to scale, Y for the Y axis, and just drag that in slightly. Okay, left click when I'm happy. Let's come back over here to the front view. Okay, I'm going to press E to extrude, right click, and I'm actually I'm going to press Control Z just to cancel that and undo that. I'm going to press Shift D to make a copy first, and right click to snap it back to its location. Okay, now I'm going to press E to extrude and just extrude it out slightly. Right click. Okay, I'm just going to come over here and drag this down. Press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate around. Okay, I need to press 3 for side view. I'm going to press S to scale Y for the Y axis and just scale this in. Left click to lock that in position. Okay, I am going to select some of these inner faces. Okay, and just drag them forward in the Y direction, just in closer to the scalp or the head. Okay. Okay, I'm going to select these faces, press and hold shift and select all these edges, these faces on the edge coming around here. Okay, I'm going to press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate. I'm going to press E to extrude. Sorry, I'm going to press Ctrl Z to undo that. I'm going to press Shift D to make a copy, right click snap that back to its location okay I'm just going to grab it here and drag it down slightly before I extrude it and I'm going to press S to scale Y for the Y axis and just scale it down and maybe just now drag it forward slightly what I can do is press and hold the middle mouse button and I can just drag it in the Y and just bring it in a little bit closer. Okay, to about there. And now I can press E to extrude and extrude out slightly. Okay, left click to lock that in position. Okay, now I'm going to left select these inner faces and press and hold shift. Just press and hold the middle mouse button just to pan around. Press and hold shift and left select all these inner faces on this edge. Okay, now I'm going to press Shift D to duplicate. Duplicate, right click, just to snap those back to their location. I'm going to press E to extrude. I'm actually going to cancel. Just right click to cancel that and compress. Press Control Z. I'm just going to press the full stop and left select individual origins. Now I'm going to press E to extrude, and that should extrude them out under. Okay, I'm going to left click to lock that in. Okay, I'm just going to press Z and left select wireframe. I just want to deselect the back faces here, so I'm going 
gonna press C for paint select and press the middle mouse button and just deselect all of these faces up to up to about here right click just to exit paint select I'm gonna press Z and left select solid okay now I'm just gonna drag these down and I'm just gonna drag them back slightly like this okay and just drag them down a little bit okay and with just those ones selected I'm gonna press shift D and make a copy and just right click and I'm gonna press E to extrude and just drag these faces out okay right click when I'm happy I'm just gonna press 3 for side view I'm gonna press R to rotate those slightly okay I'm just going to press A to deselect. I'm going to press L to select this and press S to scale Y for the Y axis and just increase this in size a small bit. Left click to lock that in position. I'm going to press 3. I'm just going to grab this and drag it back. Maybe press Ctrl Z just to undo that. Maybe just drag this back slightly first. Okay, that's not that's a bit better I'm just gonna press 3 I'm gonna press I'm gonna press Z and left select wireframe again I'm gonna press C for paint select and press the middle mouse button just to deselect those I'm gonna press the right mouse button to cancel or to exit paint selection and press Z and left select solid i'm just going to grab this these no faces here and just drag these forward slightly okay i'm just left click to release that okay what i'm going to do now is just select some of the bottom faces here press and hold shift and select the bottom faces on these outside strands just gonna press and hold the middle mouse button just to rotate to the back okay now I'm just gonna press 1 for front view and I'm just going to drag these in slightly and I'm gonna press control plus and that will increase the selection by one face all around and just drag these in and control plus again and drag these in okay should do me gonna left select this face here press one and just drag that in okay now I'm just gonna come up here and select certain faces and drag them down to different heights same with maybe these ones here in the center just drag this down again with these ones here just drag this down just to give a variation in length press and hold the middle mouse button and just go around to the back do the same thing here just grab the bottom face and drag these down okay And I'm just going to press tab and left select object mode. I'm going to press A to deselect. Okay. It's not looking too bad. I'd be happy with that. I'm just going to press control S and save that. And that's going to be it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Hello and welcome back to the next tutorial in this series. Okay, today I'm just going to continue modeling where we left off and do a little bit more. I just want to press N and bring up this property panel and come down here to display. I'm just going to uncheck the box be beside grid floor just to remove that floor for the moment. Okay, I'm just going to press 1 for front view. I'm actually going to come over here to the subdivision surface and reduce that to 1.